We definitely see the influence of government regulation being a, a real driver for continued efficiency improvement and market growth for the HVAC industry. Uh, really, Asia, we see two different market segments, the developing market and the developed market. Uh, we expect that the developing market is going to grow just natural growth as standard of living increases, but the regulations are really gonna, what's going to help drive the developed markets to higher efficiency. We definitely see that the Asia market is very important to the industry, uh, both in the midterm and the long term. With the mix of developed markets like Singapore and Australia, Tokyo and Hong Kong, along with the developing markets, we see very dynamic and exciting opportunities within Asia in the next 10 years. We see the spectrum of technologies being demanded within the Asia markets, but they're all headed in the same direction. It's all headed for higher efficiency, higher sustainability. We see that the demands are going to depend on the market in terms of the growth uh, for heating, cooling, ventilation. You have markets that are on the equatorial areas that cooling is going to drive the demands and we see that going toward high efficiency and even into district cooling. The northern markets, sustainable designs now are really driving toward heat pump applications for the heating needs. So depending on where you are in Asia, we see the, the demands different uh, for each market. We really see the market changing rapidly in terms of moving from specifying individual components to seeking uh, sustainable, efficient, integrated solutions. Johnson Controls is investing heavily in both personnel and technology to deliver those solutions to customers. And so it really begins with the customer uh, understanding the value. They're going to own the facility for 20 years or more. The consultants are next in terms of really recognizing the value and putting together designs that tie all of the products together. Uh, it'll take time. But we definitely see the Asia market moving in that direction. And we see great progress, particularly in markets like Australia and Singapore.